हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम श्रीजन बिस्वास क्या आप बायो में थ्री सिक्सटी और थ्री सिक्सटी स्कोर करना नहीं चाहते नीट में तो इस वीडियो तो आपके लिए बिल्कुल भी नहीं है अगर आप चाहते हो तो दिस इज गॉन बी द बेस्ट वीडियो फॉर यू ऑन यूट्यूब प्लीज पूरा देखना कर, ताकि आप कोई भी पॉइंट मिस ना करो टूडे आई एम एक्सट्रीमली एक्साइटेड टू शेयर यू माई स्ट्रैटेजी एंड टिप्स दैट हाउ आई पर्सनली हैव स्कोर थ्री सिक्सटी इन बायोलॉजी इन नी ट्वेंटी Many of you have watched several videos on YouTube but this is going to be something special since I personally have been through this journey. I can give you the best strategy that how I have revised the full bio syllabus for more than 40 times. This video is for all the biology enthusiasts uh, out there and the neat aspirants who want to achieve perfection in the subject. So before we dive into the tips uh, let's understand the exam pattern. And biology is actually consisting of 100 questions divided into botany and zoology having 50 questions each out of which uh, you just need to answer on in 90 questions in total. See biology is already covering 50% weightage of the paper and once you can master it you are just a step ahead of others in the competition. One major thing I just want you to know is that studying for gaining knowledge and uh, scoring the highest are totally different things and you are going to be a medical and of course your interests to gain knowledge regarding this subject is at its peak but before that uh, just limit yourself till you master uh, the texts of NCERT See NCERT textbooks are the foundation of biology look the most important thing is to stick your relevance to NCERT as you prepare this to NCERT books is literally the bible for neat people around every corner screams about NCERT but very few are actually pointing out that exactly how to read NCERT see everyone is reading NCERT at least once uh, but there's of course something error in them because most of them don't know actually how to read it so you may ask me that why only NCERT So I want to show you one question which I got in one of my mock tests. Here you just pause and try to answer if these statements are correct or not. Uh done. So did you just think that both are correct? No. Then just find what's wrong in them. Uh now see this one. Uh here it is my NEET 24 question paper. See question number 108. It is such an amazing question. See here are again given the same two statements which are so confusing from cell division. But please wait. Can you make out the difference? I hope you got it right. Uh, focus on this encircled words. Uh, yes, you got it. Uh, light microscope instead of electron microscope. And now let me show another magic. This is just a snap uh, from my biology NCERT. Just figure out the lines and each and every words are exactly identical, isn't it? Similar to the second statement here, it says that the end of diplotin stage. But in neat paper, you see it is given that the beginning of diplotin, which is exactly the same as written in NCERT, isn't it? Now, my point is that all of you have read these lines multiple times, but see what just happened. Most of you have actually missed the important keywords while reading the texts. you know ain't your friends questions exactly identical to what is written in the ncert as i have shown there is definitely many more such examples which i can show and i will make a separate video regarding the analysis of the 24 question paper with respect to ncert see the first and the foremost thing before reading texts is clearing the concepts i hope you all are under the guidance of any teacher uh, after each and every topic that is covered in class please just go through the text once for the first time This time you just go slow but a bit steady. Many of you just read the text like reading stories. Cover pages after pages very fast as you can but can't figure out anything out there. When you are reading for the first 5 to 8 times, please go slow. Just focus on the keywords, mark or encircle them. Don't just mark each and every line while reading for the first time. You know, NCERT is not written by a single author but Uh, so it is not easy to figure out the riddles behind the lines you can do one thing uh, frame yourself as an examiner now try yourself that uh, can a question be framed from this line if yes then what is it try to figure out a one word answer for that question uh, that true from that very line only and there you got the right way that's the important keyword just mark it down and go on like this like for the entire chapter solving questions comes the next part Relevance should be kept in mind while solving the questions. The first and the foremost thing to do is to solve previous year questions. Last 10 years is more than enough I would say because at about before 2014 or 15 the curriculum and the syllabus of foundation was not there like that of today. You will find many questions out of NCERT that came earlier and it will be just a waste of time I would say. 
after you have written CRT at about six to eight times and solved PYQs, next you can just open your book and put a mark on the texts for each and every previous year question that you have solved beside the line where its answer belongs to. Then after you have read the NCRT for about six to eight times and solved PYQs, next you can just open your book and put a mark on the text for each and every PYQ you solved beside the line where its answer belongs to. The next time you revise, uh, you will experience the magic. Now all the important lines of NCRT is at your fingertips and while doing this, you will come across another magic that many of the questions are exactly due to copy, due to repeated in the previous years. Uh, yes, question repeats. So this is the essence of reading NCRT and solving the previous year questions. See, the next important comes is revision. And for that, making efficient notes is definitely necessary. I would suggest that the best and authentic resource for revision is of course NCRT. But for multiple speed revisions, reading through all the lines of NCRT is not physically possible. What I did was that uh, I had written all the chapters of NCRT from that book itself by extracting only the keywords from each and every line. Here you can see one example from the cockroach part. You see that I just wrote them on a paper uh, not uh, such that uh, not a single point actually misses from where question can be asked. Don't, uh, don't just leave any line of NCRT. Just remove all the grammars, conjunctions and just write the keywords. I can illustrate the advantage of it. See, in the book, every data are given in paragraph format and having so many unnecessary words, you can just do remove it. You know our brain loves point-wise data and once you feed your brain the way it loves, it will stay permanent. Chances of forgetting minimizes and after doing so, you will see that the entire chapter of NCRT will be covered in a single page. I just pasted them at the last of the chapter and from the next time I just used to read that only. Initially it would take about uh, 7 to 8 minutes to read once and slowly but as you memorize and you can just literally revise them in less than two minutes. In this way, uh, during the full syllabus tests, I just used to cover the whole of NCRT every day. And the biggest advantage, you know, is that uh, you are not missing any line of NCRT while doing this. So you can have all the lines of NCRT at your tips and this will literally boost your confidence to a next level. So I hope that you have got the key to score absolutely 360 in bio. Just leap your preparation a level higher as I have said. I can assure you that you can achieve the perfect score. I hope the video has been informative for you. So please share it with all the neat aspirants out there. Please do subscribe to the video. It will cost you nothing but it will motivate me to bring more such amazing content for you guys. Till then, up NCR take a pura charge jao. Kyuki wahi tumara future khulega. Thank you. Bye bye.